In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus ZnCl2. This is silver nitrate plus zinc chloride. The first thing we need to do when we write net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation right here. I can see that I have two chlorine atoms here and just one here. So why don't we put a two in front of the AgCl? balances the chlorines, but now I have two silver atoms. Let's put a two over here. Silver is balanced, but I have two nitrate ions. Two nitrate ions over here, so that's good. And then I have a zinc here and here. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So nitrates are very soluble, so we're going to put an AQ. That means aqueous, dissolves in water, dissociates into its ions here. Zinc chloride, chlorides, general are very soluble with a few exceptions and silver that's one we want to look up it might be one of the exceptions so here are the solubility rules and we go down here's that chloride ion that cl we're talking about in general they're soluble with some exceptions the first exception is silver so that means that agcl it's going to be insoluble these two substances will react and it'll form an insoluble substance that means it's going to be a solid fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So the AgCl, that's our precipitate in this reaction. And then we have zinc nitrate, and that is going to be aqueous because we have that nitrate, which is very soluble. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. Silver, that's going to be 1 plus, and then the nitrate ion, that's 1 minus. The whole thing is 1 minus. So we'll have two silver ions, Ag plus. I won't write the states. Let's do that later. And then we have two of the nitrate ions. Zinc is 2 plus, and then the chloride ion is 1 minus, each one of them. So we'll have the zinc ion, Zn2 plus, and then we'll have two of these chloride ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. This is a precipitate, so we're not going to split it apart. So we'll just have 2 AgCl plus we'll have zinc, we said was 2 plus the nitrate ion, each one 1 minus. We'll have the zinc ion, Zn2 plus, and we'll have two of these nitrate ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I have the reactants up here, products down here. I can see two nitrate ions right here, and again in the products. So I can cross those out. They're spectator ions. Reactants, I have two zinc ions, and in the products. Let's cross those out. They're spectator ions. What remains, that's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus ZnCl2. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus ZnCl2. You can see the atoms, we have the same number of atoms on each side, so those are balanced, but we have a 2, 2, and 2. So we can reduce this further, we can reduce this down to 1, 1, 1, since these numbers are the same. And we don't usually write the 1, it's implied that they're there. You can also see that the charge is balanced. We have a positive and a negative. That adds up to zero. Net charge of zero here. This is neutral. Net charge of zero. Charge is conserved as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus zinc chloride. Thanks for watching.